Frisco, go, 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 ki la ha go. Hachi go to Frisco, go to fa ha ha go. Okey, even okey, please. Awesome all the pogo. Stick around and see the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you our program. The Pogo Special Birthday Special. Starring Pogo Passon in the exacting role of Pogo Passon. And featuring Churchy Lafemme, a genuine quarter shell game mogul. Also, Howland Hour, a hot firecracker salesman. And Albert, a alligator by trade, as a summer Santa Claus. And Beauregard, the noble dog, a second hand Christmas tree expert. Then, Fremont, a bug. Also, Basil, an apprentice butterfly. And Bun a one man celebration. Not forgetting Miss Mademoiselle Pepsiba, a valentine. And a porcupine, yes, a, a, a porcupine, yes, a, a, a Norfolk. Oh, the king and the queen were twirling at court in the meadow behind all the mere. Though mainly the meadow was middled with mow and heretical hitherto here. The prince and the princess were plating the plate and prating quite primly the pier. And that's why the duchess stuck ducks on the duke, for no one was over to see her. Now violin only with pizzicato, plinky plinky plunkety plank, plunky plunky plink 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 plink, arco zoom zoom and zoom, squeakety squeaky squeak squeaky squeak, come sordino squeaky squeak, now sense a sordino squeak 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 squeak, now pizzicato. It goes bow wow. Any fools know that? Ooh, yes, but us others sing it uh, thusly. Take us all with boss in Charlie. Walla walla wash in the calibers. What was that all about? Christmas. That's their favorite holiday. But Albert Alligator and Beauregard Dog just have slight disagreeablements on how the words of deck the halls with boughs of holly go. But how come Christmas carols clear back here in the month of October? 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 You see, everybody's got his favorite holidays, don't he? So why not celebrate it any time he please? What's yours? Rude bag of brandy. No, no. What's your favorite holiday? The 3rd of July. Why the 3rd? Why the 3rd? On account of it's 4th of July Eve. Tomorrow's the 4th. Wham! Boom! Bam! Zerum! Pow! What's your favorite holiday? Mm, I don't know. Maybe Halloween? April Fool's Day? April Fool's Day? April? Admission Day! Columbus Day! Guy Fawkes Day! Mother's Day! On to Washington! We want 365 holidays a year! Hey, what do you know? It's Bun Rabbit, the one-man celebration. He's in favor of all holidays. Thanks for giving! Spider Count Eve! Hooray for holidays! Every time a man want to take a holiday, you got a vacation stand on the face. Three cheers for Boxing Day, Fat Tuesday, a skinny or Sunday, a Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. I got a rush. Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, Porky, take Valentine's Day. It's all the day. 
Monday. Arbor Day. Take a tree to lunch. I just gotta be first this year. Valentine's Day. Woohoo! How come Porcupine's so all fired, fired up about Valentine's Day? Well, you see, Porky's a Norphan. So he don't know when his birthday is, and he ain't got no folks for Christmas also. So Porky really ain't got no holiday of his own. So but he... Do you think he's serious about this Valentine business? <clears throat> My lovely pistachio oatmeal you dish up. I think he's worse than serious. I think he's got a girl in mind. A female girl? Right. A female lady girl named Miss Mamselle Hepzibah. Now then, if you was a girl, what would your favorite holiday be? Boys Week. No, Valentine's Day, of course. Good Friday, Bad Monday, DeHosto's birthday, Groundhog Day. I got it! February 29th, Leap Day. <laughs> then I could ask you to marry me. Valentine's Day. Hey, I got it. If I was a girl, my favorite holiday would be Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> you darling, you knew that fireworks was a way to a girl's heart. Yeah! Fourth of July, my favorite holiday, too. I am going to join up with Howlin' Al. His uncle left him a legacy of 7,642 hot firecrackers. Firecrackers? We're going to be firecracker moguls. Yeah! Hey, wait for me. Every red-blooded American boy wants to be a firecracker mog. Ew. As I paddle through the years and peer between my tears, your tears ain't got no peers. Maybe it ain't much, but it'll be her first Valentine of the year. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Ow! She loves me. Ow! Don't make sense. I guess I better practice my poem. Though the day be Arbor Day, the night is Valentine's. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the Arbor Day. The Valentine, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Miss Molly Hepzibah, will you be my Valentine? From guess who? Porcupine? Oh, boy. I gotta warn Miss Hepzibah before he gets there. If she reject him, Porky will probably commit herself a piece of suicide. Now this here's a Christmas tree. And Christmas trees is always trimmed to the immortal words of... Marcus Oba was a folly, polly molly cracker and a two blaloo. Charlie's Philly, Jolly Chilly. Now it ain't actually going. Dick is always Boston Charlie. Wow, Though the day wow. is Arbor Day, the night is Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo? I don't seem to scan. But of course I understand, Monsieur Pogo. You no wish me to reject these little porcupines, no? Because he is think he in love of me, Miss Pa. Yeah, I guess that's pretty dagbone see Pa all right, Miss Mamsell. Yes, very well. All this I comprehend and will be kind. But what I do not understand is, why do you not speak for yourself, Jean? You all. Why me? Why do I have to be so attractive? Why do I have to have all the good looks? Why couldn't there be some left over for people less fortunate? Why me? Up 
Valentine poem by Porky Pine. Though the day be Arbor Day, the night is Valentine's. My heart is yours, my love is yours, yes, them and all my spines. Da 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 da. Dump. Second verse. So, dear Miss Mamzelle Hepzibah, with just a little practice, you'll maybe care for Porcupine and loudly love his cactus. Makes you so all fired sure. This is the preferred way to trim a Christmas tree. You said it. You said Barker's old bar wilds are fine. Well, use the closest thing we got around here to a bower. As a Christmas tree, I'm more of a hollyhock. Where's my candles? Here you are, folks. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're fresh. Celebrate the most glorious holiday of them all. Impress your colleagues. Light up a friend. Candles. How propitious. Candles have to go away, y'all. After all, gentlemen, what holiday is more patriotic than Christmas? <laughs> Toying? He looked more like a zing man. Okay, what holiday is more patriotic than Christmas? In what country? Boy, red candles sure sets the tree off nice, don't it? If Ma could only snap a peeper at me now. Get him while they're hot! Celebrate the most glorious bowl! <laughs> Looks like Albert and Dobbs is exploding a few myths about Christmas. Well, actually, today's Arbor Day, what comes on the 4th of July this year. You know what holiday I think today really is, Poco? I think it's Porky Pine's birthday. Hey, great idea! On account of he's a natural born orphan and ain't got no birthday. So why can't we celebrate it any time we please? We will give him a surprise party. A perfectly splendid suggestion. You see, Porky come from a long line of orphans, so he ain't got no family birthday, neither. Family birthday? What is this family birthday? Oh, it's an old traditional holiday that I just invented. Family birthday. What a lovely sound. Pogo. Why don't we make it a family birthday surprise party? Great idea! 
We'll all be Porky's family. We must orient tell everyone. Everyone but Porky. Everyone but Porky. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're fresh. I'll come over to buy little Fremont here's full firecracker. A pleasure, madam. I got something he'll fit him to a T. My assistant will now demonstrate. There. See how it brings out the color of his eyes. Do you think that's his size? I'm not sure he takes an extra large at firecrackers. Madam, if it had been tailored for him, it couldn't have fit better. And furthermore, we issue an insurance policy with each and every purchase. Well, that's all right, then. A mother can't be too careful. Well, Let's go find some more kids. But his firecracker's good for kids. Listen, mister. When we want your advice, we'll ask for it. Is firecracker's good for kids? I ask you. Well, just let me advise you, bums, that if you want my advice, my advice is, is to not take it. See? Of course. Only I gotta get my present ready. What party? <laughs> oh boy, some struggle. Hey, mister, which way to the party? Oh, blabamo. I was supposed to tell everybody but him. Everybody but him, but him, but him. Oh, how darling. He'll just love it. Has been sent to everyone? Yes, to everybody but Porky. That about does it. Now, if somebody lend me in Fremont here a finger, we'll tie this off for you, Miss Hepsibar. Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> I got lots of social engagements of my own. One, I, I gotta go fishing. Two, I gotta peel a potato. Three, I gotta get washed up for supper. Four, gotta wash the dishes. Five, get ready for bed. Six, well, I wouldn't have time to go even, even if I had been invited. Yes, sir. I'm celebrating my big day, my holiday, National Butterfly Week. And anyway, I'm working the surprise party, too. In what capacity? Waiting table? No, I'm conducting a bouquet. Conducting a what? Good afternoon, madam. You must be Pogo's ugly sister, Spatunia. No, I ain't my ugly sister, Spatunia. Well, maybe use your good-looking sister, Bell Bars, of whom I recognize because she always wears a yellow ribbon in her hair. Look, Jack, I ain't no yellow ribbon. I'm a butterfly celebrating National Butterfly Week. National Butterfly Week? That does it. I never heard of no National Porcupine Week or no National Porcupine Day or hour even. Porcupine minutes, for that matter. Or even a second. Understood? We march five paces from the chimney, turn, 
and charred. Right. And the first man down the chimney is Santa Claus, and his Christmas carol is right. Right? Right. right. One, two, three, four, five, charge! <laughs> when they find us, somebody gonna be real surprised and proud on Christmas morning. Ouch. Something sticking me in the spine bone. Uh-oh. I, I better get this back to Miss Mamselle Hepzibah's party. Somebody gonna miss it for sure. I got troubles enough without getting accused of snitching presents. Why is everybody's hideous comings? Good evening. I brung back the present which I inadvertently didn't steal from you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy But it's finally agreed on the words to that song. Damn! But your mama was a piney, pork a piney, double shiny birthday blue. Happy, 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 happy birthday, happy birthday too. too. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, look at that ah. holder! Happy birthday! 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 How about this here? That fine con cherry, dear. That is a present for you. From me. You... You mean you actually got me a present, too? Miss Mamselle? Give it to me, my petit little one. Will you be my valentine, Porky? Who oh boy! Let's get this show on the road! Okay, kids. A one, a two, a three, a... Happy birthday to you. Little new year's to you. A merrily Dolly, dear. 